What's going on guys? Nick here with Angling Attic Pacific Northwest. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be covering soft beads and specifically your B&R soft beads. Now these are probably some beads that a lot of you've seen in most of the tackle shops that you go to. Uh, there is a lot of bead companies out there. There's a lot of different colors. There's a lot of different sizes to select from and it can become quite overwhelming which is why today we're going to stick with just these B&R beads. Uh, they make these beads in a size 6 all the way up to a size 20. Uh, I've got quite a selection of different sizes, different colors. But let's uh, jump right into this, show you guys how you can get these set up on your line so you can get out there and start catching some steelhead of your own. <clears throat> so one of the first things you'll notice when you flip this package over is that it actually has instructions on how to get these soft beads set up on your line. And I know there's a lot of you that have been out there doing this for quite some time, but you got to remember there are still those that are just now starting to get into this. So it might be redundant information for some of you, but for some of you, this information is gonna be gold because it's gonna help you get out there and get started. This is the 14 millimeter cream sickle here. One of the things that's in this little package here is going to be your bead stop. And we'll show you how to get these set up on your line. That is gonna be what holds your bead in its place and helps keep it from slipping down as well. We're going to grab one of our beads out of here. Uh, cream sickle. Sexy. This is actually a really simple setup. So all you're really going to need is a, a number two, number four hook. Uh, I'll cover this whole setup uh, in another video. You're going to need some uh, leader. So I'm using this soft steel instinct fluorocarbon, which is uh, I've been using for the last year or so. And I've been uh, quite happy with that. So I'll show you how to do this egg loop knot in a different video. If you guys already know how to do it, then you're already one step ahead. So now we're just gonna take our tag end and we're gonna go here to our bead stops. And you can see they're all set up on these little metal wires that have a little tiny eyelet at the top of it. So all you're gonna wanna do is take your little tag end and run it through one of those eyelets. And we're gonna grab that whole bead stop and we're just gonna pull it through. You see what it's done is it's pulled off of that. We're gonna end up clipping off this little tip piece because it always puts a little kink in your line there. But now we've got our bobber stop on there. So we're gonna to wanna to just take that and you're gonna slide it down your line. You're gonna slide it down so that we get about two to three fingers from that hook. I'll go behind so you can see. So we're about two there. We're gonna go two and a half. Two and a half seems to be uh, pretty good for me. So now that we've got the bobber stop on there, we can just come back to our little bead here, go back up to our tag end. And the other thing I like about these BNR beads is they already have a tiny little hole, which makes it really easy to just take your leader and just thread it right through that little tiny hole. You can see the little tag end just popped out. So we're just gonna take that bead we're gonna get down to that bead stop right there. Now we're gonna to need to put a little bit of force on there. It's gonna pull that tube up inside the bead. And you can see now it's nice and tucked away on the inside. And that bead is ready to be fished. So there's plenty of different, there's a lot of different ways people set up beads, but with these BNR, that is probably the most simple way that you can go about it. Uh, I'll cover in a different video, the rest of the setup with your weight, uh, your bobber and all that jazz, as well as uh, just showing you guys how you actually want to go out and fish this setup. But I hope that that gets some of you guys a little bit of a head start in the bead world and uh, hope that this setup actually gets you out there and on some fish. Until next time, the best of luck to you guys. I hope to see you out on the water. 